We're back to the continuation of the story from minutes ago. If you missed any, catch it on the Morning X podcast. This is the best of the Morning X with Barnes, Leslie, and Jimmy. 99X. Well, how many are there, would you say? Uh, Maybe about... Maybe about 100, 150, maybe. And, and then, wow, that's a lot. And then were lot. There, was there another group of pro-war oh, no. people or uh, pro-Bush people Just them. People or just, whatever. They wanted just to be them. seen by the president. That's right. Just them. Well, let's just go to the tape. This is me out there with my war rule sign at the anti-war protest. U.S. off Iraqi soil. No blood for oil. U.S. off Iraqi soil. No blood for oil. We love war. <laughs> we love war. We love war! U.S. off Iraqi soil! War kicks ass! We love war! War kicks ass! I love how they try to say it faster and more diligently yeah. to make you stop. Are they getting in your face at this point? Immediately, like there was like maybe I mean a group of maybe thirty of them who just came at my face and the guy with the bullhorns like screaming in my face and there's signs everywhere. God, but, that's what you and, needed and a bullhorn. You were telling me though that there, at one point the cops came in and you were talking to the cops. Yeah, right? they they sure did. As a matter of fact, at one point uh, the police officers who actually <laughs> kind of smiling uh, when I was doing it, but. Uh, one of them said, could you come here for a second? I'm like, sure. So I step on over to him and he goes, sir, would you like us to set you up another place? Maybe, uh, you know, next to them to protest. If, if you'd like that, we can, because we know you have just as much of a right to be here as they do. Translation, I, cops dig war too. <laughs> <laughs> they were probably you know, enjoying no. the entertainment. Yeah. So, so I was, so I said, no, nah, everyone's, you know, they're fine. They're not being too hostile. And uh, at one point, though, this old lady, she must have been in her 60s, ran up to me and tried to steal the sign out of my hands. And the whole time I'm holding up the sign and what you beat Jane her up. What was Fonda doing there? <laughs> <laughs> so the whole time, like, all these people are trying to put their sign in front of mine, but somehow I always manage to get right there on the main corner. And, you know, people are getting ticked. I don't want his message to be mixed up with our message and all this stuff. So. And they're wearing a lot of hemp, I'm guessing. Oh, my gosh. Ah, hemp. I hemp. mean, a whole lot of B.O. going around. No shoes. No, no, no. Rules rule you. They're in your head. Yeah. Hey, I'm just here to peacefully protest. Oh, yeah? Are you? You ain't here to learn, that's for sure. You don't probably learn anymore, right? I'm telling you, war's the best. War kicks ass. If you are a moron. For someone against war, you show a hostile. No dialogue. No dialogue. War. You can't have dialogue with this. All right, war. It's fun to protest. War. <laughs> Chicka wah Not in our name. On a rack. Not in our name. In my name. On a rack. Not in our name. In my name. On a rack. Not in our name. I take baths. <laughs> I shower and I don't take drugs. Are they just uh, talking to themselves, or are there actually people paying attention to this? Oh, they're getting, yeah. They're, I mean, the whole time they're getting ticked, and they try to... No, but I mean... Are there people, are there people watching, watching you? Their, are there people watching them? Uh, yeah, people are driving by, and, you know, every once in a while someone would honk. I don't know if a honk is a good thing or a bad thing. A we support you honk or a get out of town honk, I don't know. I'm getting sent up in Cobb County that's a get out of town honk. I don't know. Ah, yeah, because they're so liberal up there. <laughs> right. That's a liberal part of the country, Cobb County. Yeah, which is nice. Uh-huh. It's still ugly. No attack on Iraq, not in our name! No attack on Iraq! I like the chicks. The background singers. Yeah. <laughs> like they came out of nowhere. <laughs> Why are you asking me that? Ladies only. War. Why is it good? You're not capable of reasoning? Well, tell me why it's bad. Because people are going to die. If it wasn't for war... All the music you guys smoke pot to wouldn't be around. Yeah. You are a cop. Who says we smoke pot? Just a hunch. War! I can tell by that one <laughs> sentence that that guy said, who, th- who says we smoke pot. I can tell he smokes pot. I like your just answer. That just one, a hunch. <laughs> just by that one sentence, I know that guy smokes pot. Working for the man. Who <laughs> says that anymore? Work. I can't do any the business. Eh? I own three businesses. Hey. What do you own? I'm not talking about porno websites. No, I own my own real estate business, asshole. We do have a warmonger among us. We have the right to ignore him. You've been recognized. That we simply ignore him. Go about our business. We have a message to convey. 
we don't need to dilute the message by Try honoring this person. Let's just do what we need to do. <laughs> Let's find some chance that really work. Let's get going. Something? Guys in my face right here. Let's He's find talking. some chants that really work. Yeah, that's my favorite line. Let's find some... Ch oh, C-H-A-N-T-S. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's find some chants that really work. We have a message something. to get across, and the world needs to hear it. Let's do it. For the government. Yeah. You can't transcend your own indoctrination. No, Why don't you try creating <laughs> something? Be an entrepreneur. No, do you even know what you're talking about? <laughs> yeah, I do. No, I'm an entrepreneur. I actually produce something for society. No Several oil. Oil. Other than body odor, what? No no blood for oil. Oil. A child? US Army Iraqi Are you a boy? We all have body odor. No We're all monkeys. Alright, you lost me. Smarter than no We're all monkeys. Oil. What do you do? <laughs> What's your job? No How do you help the country being what you are? <laughs> what do you contribute? All you do is mooch off the taxpayers. No war! War. <laughs> Never went to college. War, war, war. <laughs> hater. Up hater. with war. You're a hater. <laughs> In my name. Who's your name? What's your name? You don't even have it. In my name. What's your name? You're starting to sound like Jim Morrison. <laughs> really? You're starting to look like him. I don't look What's like the beard, dude. Huh? No attack. Well, you, you, you got a shave? You, you got a problem with my beard now? You don't know how to shave? A I hippie making fun hostile. of my beard. You're being awfully hostile to me. I'm not being hostile. If, sure you are, if you're just listening, we're listening to old tapes of the Morning X from when we first went on the air in 1969. <laughs> That's what Rich used to do during Rich, the Vietnam. Rich, you should have <laughs> asked him how Woodstock was. <laughs> I know. I was like, was Crosby, Stills, and Nash there yeah, at any come point on. in time? <laughs> or guys with long hair and a headband? Exactly. And a, and a toga? Or... Five minutes, you've been questioning I'm not hostile. who I am, why I do what I do. Who's that hostile? That's normal can, conversation. How can people, someone against war be people, so hostile? When people introduce themselves. I haven't heard your name dude, yet. I'm in control of my emotions. <laughs> Obviously not. You're in my you been in my face the last me. five minutes. You can't provoke me. Well, then why why do you feel compelled to come child, talk to me? But you are the child. Okay. Why don't you try creating something and contributing to society <laughs> instead of mooching from it? You're awfully hostile. You keep following me. How am I hostile? For an anti-war protester, you keep following me and getting in my face. How am I hostile? You know. Um, <laughs> you, know, you, you know, you can't protest without sounding like a cult member. You know, I'll say this about... They were about, in unison, yeah. I'll say this about protesters. Uh, they're good rhymers. You know what? Do they get together you know, and practice? They're good at rhyming. Do you have a practice before you go out there to the actual site? And, and who's in charge of writing no attack on Iraq? Like, Not in charge our of... How do they decide which of the... You know, it's not a, in, It's like a high school cheer. <laughs> he thought you were like an unemployed vagrant. I know. Because you look like one. That I mean, was, that's... Here's the thing is, I love some of the, the knowledge that's kicked. Like here, I found this. Listen to this. Tell me what this means. You can't transcend your own indoctrination. Oh, what? You can't transcend your own indoctrination. Well, Rich, that has to do with the fact that the man <laughs> is keeping you down or something. Well, the best is that a uh, guy from the uh, Marietta Daily Journal was there, you know, snapping photos. And he comes up to me and, and asks me for my name. And I sure, okay. So I, I gave it to him. And uh, listen to our good friend, uh, hippie guy. Uh, listen to what he says here. This is great. Right after I give him my name. Hey, man, I got your photograph for the Marietta Daily. Let me get your name. Our name. Sure. No attack. It's on Rich. Our name. Uh -huh. Last is, uh, name. It's S H O R T E R S L E E V E S. M O R A N. Where do you live? M O R. How do you spell moron? Well, M O R A N. R A N. Where do you live? That's you know if you if I didn't know better, I would have thought that that audio was from 1968. I know. That's what it sounds like. I mean, he's at Kent State or something. It does. It sounds like Kent State. But at some point, I made them so angry. It's, well, I don't know. Another thing that I love is that how great the drummers are at these things. Like, check out the drum work. On this, I mean, you're talking, you know, there hasn't been this great of a drummer since Steve Barnes was behind yeah. the kit and Grumpy Fish. Here we go. No blood for oil. <laughs> no blood for oil. He's a regular Neil Peart. No blood for oil. <laughs> no blood for oil. You have to give up. <laughs> the best of the morning, X.